Hey guys, it's Aaron again. Back here in 2023, it is September 30th, and I am at the Lone Star Trailhead, and I have a friend here with me this year. This is Chad, and Chad's gonna be going on this 60 mile hike with me, and uh, we're starting right now, and uh, we'll catch up with you here in just a little bit. Star geyser erupting right now. It's probably shooting at about 50 60 feet in the air. There's the people sitting over there. Pretty cool. So, what do you think so far? Great. Yeah, it's beautiful. Perfect. Yeah. So we ran into a lot of people on the trail, a lot of people, but I think we're good. So we're going to keep pushing on. We've only got about two, two and a quarter miles to camp and uh, it's only one o'clock in the afternoon. So we're just happy to be here. So that's where we came from. The trailhead is 2.7 miles away and we are heading to OA3, which is going to be right down this way you can see we've got these meadows out here it's been a real pleasant hike so far just nice and chill the weather's nice it's been overcast and cloudy and we're going to get some weather on this trip I'm calling for rain tomorrow we're going to be at a little bit higher elevation so we'll probably get some snow but here we go This is nothing compared to the east side of the park where you have to ford every river and everything. Boy, they've got, they've got bridges over everything over here. It's pretty cool. Man, it feels good out here right now. The water's just crystal clear and cold. Anyways, we've got about a mile and a quarter camp. I got this little hot pot right here just off the trail. The trail goes out that way. Yeah it's steaming a little bit. Well, this one's green. A lot of green in there. Pretty interesting. Got all that calcite around it. And then, as we pan up over here, it turns red because we've got a whole new layer of bacteria. 
And we got one more footbridge here. This will take us to the second camp, OA2, which actually goes right over this thermal area. So, look at that. whole area is just one big thermal area. It's pretty cool. And down the trail, it's that way. So the, I forgot that I should probably talk a little bit about the goals of this trip. So we're covering 65-ish miles. We started at Lone Star Geyser. I'm sorry, Lone Star Trailhead. Went to Lone Star Geyser. And we're going to OA3 today, which puts us just below um, the climb up to the Beckler. And so I've never done this trail before. This is all new. And this is Chad's first time in the park. And uh, so far, so good. Anyways, the weather supposed to get a little little yucky over the next few days so tonight we might get some rain and then tomorrow for sure we're getting some rain and of course as soon as I start recording my wife texts me back on the Zolio yeah. <laughs> always that's how it works and uh, so we're gonna get to camp here we've got less than probably a half mile because here's a way to I believe yeah we got probably less than a half mile to our camp. We're just gonna chill and relax for the rest of the afternoon and enjoy it. Uh, the temperature is supposed to be uh, anywhere from 50s in, uh, as a high down to 40s as a high on Monday. It's Saturday right now, September 30th. And you can see here's OA2 right here. And it uh, goes down that way by the uh, hot springs. But the temperature is supposed to be on Monday, I think a high of 40. So it's gonna be cool and rainy. So we're supposed to get like a, a half inch of rain tomorrow, and a quarter inch of rain the day after that. Uh, tomorrow we have to climb up, oh, I think it's anywhere from, let's just say between 1,000 to 1,200 feet over I think it's like four miles, so it's next to nothing. But that'll put us up on the plateau. And then we will be camping at Greg Fork tomorrow, which is where the three rivers come together. We made it to camp down this way. We're gonna go get set up. Camp right here. Got a corral around the fire pit. Food poles are right up there. And we got probably tents out there or over in this direction. I think that goes down to water. But yeah, we're here. What did you think about your first day backpacking in Yellowstone? Perfect. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Only 4.6 miles, not a big day. We're doing about double that tomorrow. Yeah. Awesome. Well, let's get set up.
Thank you. Yeah. We got this guy grazing just right by camp and uh, just chilling out in the meadow. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and grab some water. So we'll see what he does here in a little bit. folks there is a uh, river between us as you can see so I'm being safe not like that would really stop him very much but there's no reason for him to be mad right now so We got another one make, trying to make his way into camp. So we've been smelling him. Chad has. But uh, there's one over to the right and then one right there. And it looks like maybe he might go around. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, he keeps inching his way in. He's like grinding on a stump over there. I really want to keep him out of camp, if at all possible. I've been processing firewood, so I'm out of breath. <laughs> yeah, he's over there just playing with that log. So he walked right through here, right by our tents. Luckily we have a corral around our tents. I don't know that it would really do much, but he walked out that way. It's uh, starting to drizzle a little bit, getting cool. I think we're gonna close up our tents and uh, make sure nothing can get in them. So we made it to camp, ate dinner, got a fire going. It's kind of chilly. We got some weather moving in tomorrow, so planning to get up early and get after it. But it's gonna be a it's been a nice night here. We've had buffalo around camp all night long. They've been pretty cool. They haven't really messed with us. We had one get kind of close, but he moved on. Other than that, it's been a good day. Anything you want to add? Perfect no? day. Perfect day. Yeah. Tomorrow's uh, kind of a big day, but then every day after that until the second to last day is pretty chill. So we'll uh, catch up with you in the morning. Good night. 
night number one. Good morning. It's day number two of the trip. As you can see, we've still got our buddy back there behind us, just chilling uh, by camp. It's cold morning this morning. Uh, didn't quite freeze, but it's really humid. So um, it's uh, it just kind of seeps in. But anyhow, everything this morning is steaming because we're in the middle of like a our thermal area. So as you can see right back here, it's steaming. We got a lot of steam over on the other other side of camp. Camp too. So we're getting uh, camp broke because there's supposed to be some weather here before too long. Um, probably by about noon, it's supposed to start raining. It's supposed to rain pretty hard. So we want to get try to get our climbing over with, which will be uh, pretty immediate this morning. But anyways, it's a good morning. Um, go break camp, make some uh, granola. Feeling great. Slept like a baby. Yeah. Heard an elk bugle. Bunch of stuff running around. Got some rain. Yeah. The Almost wind. a full moon. Perfect. I know. Night. And, and uh, the clouds kind of cleared after like probably like yeah. two in the morning or something. Because I came to bed at like ten. Yeah. Dude, I was out like a light. I could hear the bison snoring yeah yeah i didn't hear that i didn't hear that one but i i heard that one that was awesome yeah perfect the best sleep so far nice yeah well we broke camp we're uh heading out it's like nine ish getting close to nine what do you think of this camp perfect it was Great awesome camp. wasn't it yeah we had a good fire last night and uh yeah so we've got immediate climbing we're heading to greg fork which is basically at the first downhill portion of the Beckler River. So we're gonna start heading that way. We've got rain coming, so here hopefully about noon, that'll hit. Hopefully it holds off all day, but it's not gonna. So we've got all our rain gear ready and uh, we'll check in with you here in a little bit. As soon as we walk out of camp, there's this bridge. We're gonna take this, get to the other side of this uh, thermal area. Man, they put some work in on this. This is steel beams. Oh, wow. Yeah, they got all the wood stacked over here. This is cool. Yeah. It's a lot better than trying to walk through this swamp because it's, it's pretty swampy over here and over here. So... As you can see, the buffalo have been walking down the long side of this, both sides. That must something else. Yeah. We got a bigger climb than that. After we go down, we'll intersect with the Shoshone Trail. And then we do this again, only we do it a little bit at a steeper incline for about a mile. Okay. And then we'll flatten out. And then we'll just cruise all the way. Yellowstone's a big ass park. And it could rain in every other location than where we are, because I've had that happen. Sure. We're like, here's a 100% chance of rain. It rains all around us, but we don't get a drop. I'm like, cool. But from what they're saying, that's not going to happen. Walk. Noticeably cooler. Weather's starting to blow in. We already had to break out our umbrellas and uh, take a little bit of cover. Rain stopped and we're pushing on. We're about two miles in. So we made it to the intersection of the Shoshone Lake Trail and uh, Lone Star Geyser, where we were yesterday, is 4.2 miles away. And it's 10 miles to the Beckler River Trail, but we are, uh, there are the Three Rivers Junction. We're not quite going that far. So, but our path goes up that way. It's uh, raining, we've got our umbrellas out, and it's actually pretty nice out, so. 
time to get to work. All right, folks, this is the way we're headed. We come up on this meadow just before we start to climb. I figure I'll show you around. It's pretty beautiful out here. It is nice meadow. It's been raining off and on. We just use our umbrellas. Haven't put on any rain gear yet. Haven't needed to, but what a beautiful spot. And we got Chad. <laughs> Easy crossing. Well, we made it all the way up to the, uh, the summit right before we start climbing up uh, to the plateau that goes over to um, Douglas, Knob, and Greg Fork. And it sounded like Snickers time. So I'm going to take a 10, 15 minute break. Just chill for a minute. Let our bodies cool down. Evaporate some of the sweat. We've been bouncing in and out of rainstorms all morning. And right now it feels really good. So anyways, I'm going to eat this. I think we're uh, going to adjust some things on our packs. And I'm going to start climbing. And uh, we're going to have to work pretty hard here for the next hour or two but then it'll all be over and it'll be downhill for like the next three days oh so we had to stop here on the at the oh seven tenths point climbing we've only got about 100 feet of elevation to go but it's kicking both of our butts you know we're 400 feet elevation where we come from and it's 8400 here right now where we're standing so whew, breathing sucks but uh, that's going downhill, and this is going uphill. Not too much more to go. Then we get to set it on cruise control all the way to uh, Greg Fork. All right, so we're a little less than a quarter mile to the Continental Divide campsite, which is the highest point of our trip. And then we get to start dropping. Well, it kind of stay the same all the way to Douglas Knob. Then we get to start dropping. And uh, so we've still got, you know, I'm not entirely sure, probably five miles, four to five miles left. Uh, but all the hard stuff's done for the day. It's just raining and cold, surprisingly cold. I think uh, when I stop up here, I'm gonna put on my rain gear just to hold in some, uh, some heat. All right, we were at Continental Divide Campsite. We are not staying here, but uh, I think we're just gonna take a break here for a little bit, eat some lunch, dry off a little bit, and uh, warm up. Just pulled up at 93, Douglas Knob, and Douglas, Douglas Knob is named after that right out there, which is a volcanic resurgence area, but it's pretty inactive. So from here, we've got like a mile and a half, and we will be at our campsite for the night known as Greg Fork. What do you think, buddy? I'm dying. Are you? It's awesome. <laughs> the weather's kind of been crappy going back and forth but i think i can see some blue skies over there so i'm hoping we uh we're done with rain but you know it's yellowstone there's always something kicking your butt but we're like a half mile from uh campsite greg fork and uh, it's chilly, the wind's blowing, it hasn't rained again, and it's actually the sun's out, which they were calling for like non-stop rain from noon till sundown. 
and uh, it looks pretty good right now. The wind is blowing. Oops, the wind is blowing and it's pretty cold. But overall, not too bad. I'm gonna hop over a creek here. Ah, there we go. So, anyways, we've uh, maybe got about 10 minutes and we'll be at camp. Well, we got to camp, got our tent set up. My chair's sitting funky. Anyways, uh, it's been raining, so set up the tarp, set up a line behind us under the tarp so we could dry our clothes. Got some firewood under here. And uh, the sun's out, but it's still raining, so we're gonna wait for that to stop and then probably get a coal bed going. I may, may go get some more wood because I want to keep a nice fire going even if it rains because I don't want to repeat of I had two years ago where I couldn't get a fire started and had a really cold night. So, but yeah, it was by far our hardest day of the trip, about nine miles. We came from OA3, which is fire hole, I believe is what it's called, it's fire hole. And, uh, yeah, I already got water hung in the tree. Actually, it stopped raining. But I'll tell you what, for five ounces, plus like the ounce and a half for rope from Z-Packs, man, these tarps are worth it. I am sitting dry as could be right here. So anyhow, it was a good day, tired. I know we're gonna sleep good tonight. But here in a bit, I'll show you around camp and uh, let you see where we're, we're set up at because we got some pretty epic spots, so. So this is Little's Fork uh, coming off the plateau. It comes down here and it runs right by camp, which is right over here. Um, and then I'm going to turn around with hope, without hopefully falling into the river here. And uh, the trail that we came down comes from up there, comes down here, and then you go up in the camp. But over here, beautiful colors, by the way. It runs down the valley, and here in like four or 500 feet, it connects with like two other rivers and forms the Beckler. So tomorrow we'll uh, be heading down that way, and the trail is right there and we'll head that way tomorrow and keep going and tomorrow we go to mr bubbles i think we've earned that as you can see right here we have chad's tent he set up uh about 50 50 yards or so from uh, the campfire and then right over here there's a pathway that goes down to my tent, which is right down by the river. Let's go take a look and show you just how awesome this is. So, oh, try not to fall down this. So I'm basically surrounded by willows and then the river and the more willows and more willows. There's a small path that goes up that way. It just cuts back up to where I'm standing right now. But yeah. I'm already all set up. Uh, it's been raining, so there's some water on the tent, but wow. I just can't get over how beautiful the Beckler Canyon is. 
right up there Chad's hanging his food the bear pole is right up in those trees take every opportunity to make power yeah that's the one thing that I've got to have So what did you, what's your overall thoughts of the trip so far? If you can summarize the last two days, what would you say? Perfect, challenging, peaceful. Yeah. Awesome. I'm, I'm not regretting. Yeah, awesome, okay. Like, do not worry about that. <laughs> I mean, my body's killing me. Yeah. But it could have been worse. Could have been worse. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. So it's been seasoned. Got everything that smells put up. So let's go get back to the fire. Today was a good day. We went uh, about nine miles to get here. Well worth the price of admission, if you ask me. And uh, yeah, it rained on us for a while, grappled and hailed. And we've been uh, sitting under the tarp and blue skies. For the moment, let's get ready to get dark. We got a fire going, I'll probably show you that in a minute. And yeah, we're just gonna relax for the rest of the evening. Let the night roll in and just enjoy the fact that right here by the river, it's gonna be a really good night's rest. So, it's supposed to get a little chilly tonight, but we'll deal with that. Tomorrow it's supposed to rain uh, quite a bit. We're going to Mr. Bubbles. So we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes, but I'm sure we'll be fine. We've got the tarp, so worst case, we'll just string that up and put our stuff under it, so. It was a good day. We'll see you in the morning. Good night.
socks and shoes. Slow and steady. Good morning. It's day number two of the trip. It's, uh, it's pretty cold this morning. Um, I camped right down here by this little uh, waterfall. So I slept really good. But man, oh man, is my tent full of condensation. So I wiped out the inside and I have to shake out the outside. So, but I'm shivering, I'm a little cold. Get warmed up once I get moving, get some hot coffee and some food in me. Today's gonna be a pretty chill day. We're heading down to uh, Mr. Bubbles first. And we're gonna hang out there for quite a while. Both uh, Chad and I want to soak and warm up and uh, just let it soak in. So that's what we're doing. After that, we'll head on down to the lower Beckler campsite, I think it is, and then we'll go from there. So, all right, we'll talk to you soon. This stuff's good, very good. Well, it's been a good camp. I sure liked it, it was great. We're heading to Mr. Bubbles. It's like a mile, maybe just a smidge over 20 minutes from here. And we're gonna, we're gonna soak for a while, so. Oh, let's get to work. I wouldn't forget you guys. There's a waterfall across the canyon from us. Pretty cool. Here's the uh, Beckler River down there. And this is the valley that we're making our way down. Heading towards Mr. Bubbles. We got uh, about three quarters of a mile to go. We're gonna turn left at this sign and go this way to Mr. Bubbles. How cool is this, man? It's probably in the low 40s or high 30s right now. And it is just a steamy mess out here. I'm ready to go get in this hot pool. What do you think of Mission Bubbles? The best. Phenomenal, huh? Worth it. Uh, and we are at Mr. Bubbles just relaxing, enjoying it. We had some guys that are in from uh, Jackson and Jackson and Bozeman. And uh, we've all just been We've all just been talking, <laughs> enjoying ourselves. This water feels fantastic. Oh my gosh, it feels fantastic. I got it. I'm 
I lost my wedding ring somewhere in here. I don't know if I lost it in the hot tub or I lost it up there, but I can't find it. So, Teresa, I'm sorry. Sorry if the camera's shaking. I'm a little cold. There's a uh, another hot spring right up here, just from Mr. Bubbles. It's actually before you get to it. We're on our way out right now. You can see all the low clouds are moving in. It's uh, gonna be a pretty wet, sloppy day, I think. But uh, it's pretty down here. Real pretty. Well, I found the river. It was cold, but it's raining, so it's running faster than usual. I fell in too. Yeah, we both did. It's cold. Anyways, it's pouring, it's cold. We just got to keep going. So we got three and a quarter miles. too cold so I put on all the rest of my rain gear and gloves and everything because this is cold all right we made it to 9v9 it's still raining still cold and uh, we're just trying to push and get the site so we can set this tarp up and get dry Look at Chad being a freaking boss right now. He's just straight up crossed it like it's nothing. I'm telling you guys, this has been a cold, wet day. And uh, we've both fallen in rivers. This is our last big one. But Chad just busted this out like it was nothing. Super proud of you, dude. Well, we made it to camp. That last crossing was cold. I was shivering when I got here. So I stopped real quick and put everything I have that's warm on. And I'm feeling good now, feeling really good. So it is time to get some firewood and hopefully I'll be able to get a fire going. It is pretty damp, but I guarantee you there's some pine needles somewhere that are dry. Here's the view from right in front of camp. Beckler River that we just crossed runs right here and it's running pretty good right now it poured on us so it is what it is well, this is going to be the end of night number three it was a good day probably one of the hardest days I've ever worked in the park for some reason I, I don't really know why but I'm beat uh, Mr. Bubbles was great. We got a good chance to hang out there and meet some people. I think that's what kind of took it out of us was we s soaked in Mr. Bubbles for about two and a half hours or so. And then it started storming and it rained hard. And uh, we got to our first crossing after we left Mr. Bubbles and we both fell in. Uh, and then we fell in again at another one. It's just... It's been a, a wet, sloppy, crappy day. But it's a good day, because we're here. So, anyhow, we just ate some uh, beef stroganoff. 
and uh, we're gonna kind of well Chad's gonna go to bed I'm gonna sit under the tarp for just a little bit longer till it's almost dark then I'm gonna go call tonight because tomorrow is gonna be another long day and uh, it's gonna be raining all day so not much is gonna change from today to tomorrow but then after that it gets good again so we just got to endure it for one more day all right guys have a good night and we'll catch up with you tomorrow good night good morning it's uh day number four of the trip so today well let me start at the beginning so last night it started raining and snowing and it rained all night long and it's the snow hasn't really stuck around it's all melted it's still kind of snowing but it's cold and it's wet and it's humid and everything we have is just just soaking it in so we've had to really struggle to stay warm last night um because of that and because of the amount of rain that we've gotten i am going to just make the decision that we're going to stop at the Beckler Ford, which is only five miles away, instead of going to Denunda Falls, which is really unfortunate. I wanted to go to that waterfall and really see it, but sometimes it's just not worth um, getting yourself hurt or putting yourself in a position where you could get hurt, is what I'm trying to say. So I'm not really one to... you know, just go to the site because that's where I'm supposed to camp. No, no, that's stupid. I don't do that. So we're just going to go to the Beckler Ford because it's supposed to rain and snow the rest of the day today um, and through tonight. And we're kind of over that part. But tomorrow it's supposed to clear up or start clearing up and uh, the rain's supposed to stop and it's supposed to warm up a little bit. So I think we're going to make today a very easy, short day and uh, just kind of hang around here a bit until it warms up a little bit and uh, we feel comfortable with getting out of our tents. I'm cold, so I'm just gonna try and warm up. My sleeping bag has a lot of condensation that got knocked off the uh, walls of my tent and then uh, landed on my sleeping bag. So last night I covered it with a, um, uh, with my, Thermarest air pump bag and my uh, sleeping, not oh my gosh, my uh, raincoat over my chest. And that did a lot to stop the moisture and it really held in a ton of heat, like a ton of heat. That was really awesome. Um, to the point where I had to take off my down jacket at one point. So, but yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this, this kind of sucks right now. So, but. We will, we will deal with it. We'll be all right. We just need to uh, wait a little bit for the temperature to come up. That's snowing again. And then we'll get on uh, on the trail. We need to get some, some hot food and fluids in us, so. Such is Yellowstone in October. So even September, it can be like this. Well, we have officially seen all the weathers here in Yellowstone during this trip. Rain, thunderstorms, snow, sleet, hail. Crazy. Sure is pretty though. It may not look like it, but that river is up. Up quite a bit. And uh, I don't think we're gonna cross it down at the Beckler Ford. I think we're just gonna camp there. So that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll just have to come back and see Denunda Falls at another time. And uh, better safe than sorry, because that river's pretty swift down there, so. And deep. And it's cold. So we're just going to go to the Ford and camp there for the night. It's only about five miles away. But uh, we got to get our food down from up here. And I've got my tarp over there. We're going to go sit under that and make some coffee.
All right, so we just broke camp and we're heading out. Uh, we are going to the Beckler Ford and hopefully it's supposed to start clearing up this evening. It's, uh, the clouds are really low, maybe 100 to 150 feet above us. And uh, it's still chilly. It's not raining anymore. Uh, the river is roaring right now. And that's because it rained for like 10 hours straight yesterday. Actually, probably more than that. The trails are flooded, but we've got on all our waterproof stuff. I'm not wearing a waterproof top yet because I got my umbrella. But my rain pants are on. That's a mistake I didn't I uh, made yesterday. I should have stopped and put those on. That would have saved me a lot of a lot of cold pain. But uh, lesson learned, and we're just gonna cruise on down the trail to the Beckler Ford and uh, make camp and start trying to dry stuff out. If it doesn't rain for you know the rest of the evening, which is unlikely. I might be able to get a fire going and start drying some stuff out. But we're uh, we're gonna skip over to Nunda Falls. And if the weather clears and everything, we'll try to go to Union, which was our plan. But uh, yeah, the weather has been the biggest factor on this trip, so. Hammering us with mist and wind right now. We don't want to stick around for too long. We made it to 9B5, and uh, it's the first campsite along the way. We've got about three and a half miles to go. Go on! Go on! All right, we just pulled up at the Beckler Meadows Trail. The uh, ranger station is 5.6 miles away. So if, uh, you know, it gets real serious, I know where to go. And then here we have the Beckler River Trail. You can see that Old Faithful is 24.3 miles away. It's uh, 2.30 in the afternoon and it's still raining. It's been raining for 40 some odd hours. I will admit this has been kind of miserable. Dang pine tree is leaking on me. Well, we made it to camp. We, uh, we have our tents set up. Um, I can honestly say that today is probably the coldest, wettest day I've ever had in Yellowstone. And it's probably the coldest, wettest day I've ever experienced backpacking, period. Yeah, it's, and I've done a lot, so it's, it's pretty miserable right now. But it's kind of cleared up. The skies aren't really super clear, as you can see, but they're trying. And we are usually just sitting under the tarp, so. But it's beautiful here. 
It's cold today. I think it only got up to like 40, but they were calling for a low of 25 and now it's 36 is what they're calling for, which is wonderful because it's been so humid and rained for over 48 hours now. And uh, everything we have is damp or soaked or just flat out wet. So we're, uh, we're all set up and uh, we're going to, we brought some extra black trash bags to put over our, our sleeping bags at night to help trap some extra heat. But tomorrow's supposed to be a sunny day or it's supposed to start getting sunny. So, and uh, we're at a site that we weren't really permitted to stay at, but like I'm gonna show you here in a minute, the, the, the Beckler here is up at least two feet, at least. There's no way we could cross it right now. It's way too high, so. Anyways, we're just gonna get comfortable and uh, let the night roll in, eat some food, get some hot food in our bellies, and uh, just enjoy the fact we're here and uh, wait for the sun to come out tomorrow, so. It was a good day. We'll, uh, t I'll check in with you before uh, I call tonight. Thanks, guys. So right here's the normal crossing. You see that grass? That's not, uh, that's not water grass. That's like where the water level usually is. So it is up, like seriously up. So that log is usually visible. Um, and that log right over here is usually um, a way for folks to walk across because um, just to the right, I'm sorry, just to the left of that log is where the dry land usually is. And you can usually hop right over there. There's no way. No way. It's just, that would, this would be, how can I put it? This would be probably mid chest out in the middle and it's moving. So it's a big no. We're just not going to do that. So we're going to head off tomorrow back over this way. Uh, you can see the ridge up there, which is pretty, pretty cool. That's a cool view. Wow. But anyways, we're going to be heading um, kind of over this way tomorrow kind of staying along the left side of this river. And then we will end up at, uh, I think it's Ash Creek or something like that. But that's the plan, guys. And as you can see, it is, ooh, it's dark over there. Look, it is dark. That's heading towards us. So I'm gonna get back to camp and get underneath this tarp, which is right up there. a little fuzzy buddy go well after about an hour i'm finally starting to get warm my gloves have dried out what do you think buddy was today hard yeah today was hard wasn't it yeah is it the coldest and wettest you think you've ever been oh i know it is <laughs> <laughs> i'm telling you guys it was cold well this is going to be the end of day three <laughs> Three or four, something like that. Anyways, it's gonna be end of the day. It's uh, cold and wet still, but uh, the revised forecast only calls for like a 30% chance of rain for the rest of the evening and into tomorrow. And then tomorrow it's supposed to clear up. It's supposed to be cloudy for about half the day and then clear up. So we're hoping by tomorrow evening, I will have enough uh, stuff dried out uh, wood wise where I can light a fire and get our our laundry dry because we're running low on dry stuff so and we're doing everything we can to try and keep dry but what do you do 48 hours of rain I mean it's so humid that even our down bags are actually not fluffing up like they should so we'll figure it out but uh, we do have some trash bags, so I think we're going to stick our legs and all that down in those over our down bags. That traps a ton of heat. That's a good trick for you guys, just so you know. When you go backpacking, bring an extra trash bag or two. They weigh nothing, and they will save your life, okay? They're great for bag liners and for uh, sleeping bag liners on the outside, so that way you can uh, trap more heat. Especially when down's wet, it doesn't do much. It doesn't do much at all, so... This allows you to trap more heat 
And then when you get the opportunity to dry out, you can. So I got a plane flying over. But anyhow, I'm going to sit around here until the uh, sun goes down pretty much. And then I'm going to go crawl in the tent and get warm. And then tomorrow morning, we're going to get up and get moving and try to get to this camp, in, <clears throat> which is only about six or seven miles away. And then once we get there, uh, I plan on getting a ripping fire going and we're going to dry everything out. This site doesn't allow fires. And this was kind of a last minute change, but that's okay. We got center to the tarp while it rained, so we didn't get wet. It's a beautiful spot. I like it. Just uh, wish it was about 10 degrees warmer and uh, sun was out. So anyhow, we'll catch up with you in the morning. See ya. Good morning. It is day number five of the trip. We're uh, just getting up and get going. It's about 7.55 or so in the morning. And uh, just made some water. Gonna make some hot coffee and some breakfast. And uh, check the weather. Hopefully all the rain will stay away. And uh, we'll scoot on to our next camp where we can have a fire. We're gonna start drying out a bunch of stuff. So anyhow, we're gonna hang out here for a little bit and uh, get settled in, or not settled in, but get warmed up and ready to go, packed up. Uh, I forgot to mention the, the bear yesterday. You know, um, he was probably about 100 feet from me when I crested a section on the trail, and I started hollering out at him, and he took up off the, took off up the side of the hill there where all the rock fall is, and uh, I was yelling at him pretty good because, man, you know, it's pouring, I'm cold, I'm wet. I didn't want to, I didn't want to deal with him, so I just scared him off as best I could. But uh, that was pretty cool. Got to see him. It's the first bear I've seen of this trip so far. What do you think? Ready for sunshine. Ready for sunshine. Absolutely. Beautiful, beautiful blue skies. And as you can see right over here, we have sunlight. Yes. Thank God, man. We need this. It has been a wet, miserable last few days. Like, I don't think I can put it in words, you guys, how cold and wet it's been. Oh, well, we were, yeah. Last few days, I think we were riding the razor's edge there for a little bit. Agree. It was cold and wet, and it just took everything we had. We might get some sprinkles throughout the day, but nothing like what we had over the last few days. At least that's what the forecast is calling for now. Well, anyways, we're going to finish packing up camp, and we'll be out of here probably the next hour. All right, we're rolling out of camp. It's 1048 in the morning. It's uh, The clouds rolled back in, but it's not raining, and that's what, that's what counts. So we're just going to cruise on down the trail. Uh, we've only got about 5.6 miles to go today, and it's relatively flat. We've got a few little bumps here and there, but it should be easy. We're all decked out in rain gear because everything's wet and it's going to try and get us wet. So anyhow, here we go. We'll check in with you guys here in a little bit or if we see something cool. Tell this trail isn't traveled nearly as much. So right there, you guys, is a thunder chicken, also known as a grouse. So what they do during mating season is they make a, a progressively faster thump using their wings. It's like thump, 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 like that kind of. Oh, there you go. This thing's falling. Anyways, cool. It's like a wild chicken. It's just pretty through here. It's peaceful and calm.
This is my kind of hiking in the woods here. It's kind of dark and dense, overgrown and a little damp, but we don't care because at least it's not raining. You good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it is absolutely beautiful in here. Everything's just so lush and green and smells so good. So we're on the cutoff trail that comes from the Beckler Ford over towards Union Falls. So there's, uh, I don't remember the exact name, maybe you're, maybe called the Beckler Cutoff Trail. Can't remember, but it's 2.2 miles. And then we'll merge with another trail and go on from there. Man, it is so pretty through here. Got the aspens, the young aspens coming up. They're all losing their leaves down here. The willows, and oh, it's just beautiful. Anyhow, I hope you guys are enjoying it too, because this, this is heaven. Wow, look, let me show you this. Just beautiful. I can't put it in words like, oh. What do you think, dude? On, on point. beautiful up in here bit of a climb to get up to here but wow it's worth it right down the trail what a cool spot man first time I've seen all these so we've not had good luck crossing logs like that We've got all our waterproof stuff on, so we're just gonna go ahead and cross right here. And uh, yeah, so let's do it. Yeah, it's gonna go above the knees. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. There you go, buddy. Good job. Good job, dude. Awesome. So here we are. We pulled up at the Beckler River Trail and the Mountain Ash Creek Trail. We're gonna be going to the right towards the uh, Cave Falls, I think is what it is. And that's the way we came from. Old Faithful is 27.1 miles away. We're gonna stop and eat some lunch. So there's a beaver dam right here. It's got the trail all flooded out. We had to cross and that's like knee deep. We gotta cross one more time. Oops, right here. Not bad at all. So, oh yeah. We got this. Oh, easy peasy. I'm glad we went 
up here and looked. That's a lot better than that damn waist high stuff. Yeah, not as bad as that other one, huh? Yeah. Awesome. Good job. Those are some beautiful aspen trees. This whole area is. It's just cozy to me. This feeling when the aspens are here. And you've got this great meadow right over here. Oh, hey, look. There's a stock camp right there. There's a food pole. Cool. So what do you think of this trail, buddy? Beautiful trail. It is, isn't it? It's dry. It's dry, exactly. Yeah, we just come out of the swamps for like a mile. It was nothing but swamps. Knee high, wading through muck and hopped into at least three or four creeks. But we're out of it now. We've got less than a mile and a half to our camp and uh, we're ready to get a fire. It hasn't rained all day, so spirits are incredibly high right now. Real pretty spot along the trail, about a mile or a half mile from the swamps we just went through. It's just pretty. So this rock feature out here in the middle of nowhere, it's pretty cool. So the later layers of stratification on it there, that's pretty cool. Here's the Falls River cutoff, which we will uh, be hopping on tomorrow to go on the South Boundary Trail. It's 1.7 miles from here. And uh, the Rocky Ford, which we came across earlier, is 3.8, and Union Falls is 4.7 to our right. Um, but we're going to hit it from the other direction tomorrow. So, camp is right down here on the right. I can see the post right there. What'd you think of today's hike, man? Great hike. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. By far one of the most beautiful hikes I think I've been on in a long time. But we're here in camp. Our bear pole is right up here. So we're gonna get our food hung, stuff set up, and we are going to get a ripping fire going. It doesn't look like it's been dug out by a bear, so we're good. Well, we got fire. It's wonderful. We got a lot of drying to do. Nothing quite like this, man. This is awesome. Warm camp socks, getting everything dried. Oh, you just can't beat it. So yeah, we decided not to uh, play around. We've got a rack of socks going, shoes going. Got my tripod going with <laughs> shorts on it. This has turned out to be an epic night, an absolutely just fun night to just hang out with a friend. Amazing. Well guys, we spent the whole evening drying all our clothes. We officially have everything dry. We've been dodging in and out of rainstorms, uh, back and forth from the tarp to the fire. To me, this was one of the best days I've had of this whole trip. The trail was amazing. Um, getting here and getting a fire going was great. And just, it was a good day. Um, oh gosh, I don't think we saw anything. We heard an eagle flying around camp. He was doing his thing for about 10 minutes screaming out it was pretty cool uh we heard a moose so they, they do that mm, 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 sound and it was actually pretty loud and uh we heard him for a while and uh, now we're just letting this fire burn down before we go to bed before we uh, douse it with water and yeah 
it was a great day. Anything you want to add, Chad? It was a good day. It was a great day. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, we're going to call tonight. It's a little after 10, and uh, we'll catch up with you in the morning. Good night. Look at this, you guys. Sunlight and blue skies, it's coming. Four days of raining and cold. We're finally getting some sunshine. I'm ready. Good morning. It is day number six of the trip. It was a nice, cool night, but not cold. It, uh, it got down to like, oh, high 30s, maybe low 40s, but it's super humid, so it sticks to you, kind of cold. But today, it's supposed to burn all these clouds off. And I'm excited. So, we're gonna hang around camp for a little bit. We might not leave until 11 o'clock today. We're gonna let this sun come out, warm us up, dry our tents out, dry our quilts, and hopefully generate a little bit of power. And, uh, my stomach's growling. I'm hungry. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're camped right back there. And uh, we're just going to relax, man, and enjoy this. We've been hearing this eagle all morning. Just go around screaming. It's been pretty cool. We didn't hear anything else last night. No elk. Um, nothing after we went to bed. No coyotes, no wolves, nothing. Even if we did, we were sleeping so soundly. I don't know that it would have mattered. <laughs> Nothing like some good French press coffee and oatmeal for breakfast. I need this this morning. <laughs> this humidity has got me just chilled to the bone. Well, guys, it's 11.58. Might as well say noon. We're rolling out of camp. We uh, got things charged and dry and fueled our bodies really good and uh, made sure we took time to pack real well. So you can see our packs are getting smaller. So... We're gonna start heading out. We've got uh, ways to go to get to our next uh, crossing. We've got just a, a small little creek cross. I don't know how big it's gonna be, but we're both wearing our waterproof uh, socks and uh, leggings because it's everything's still wet. It's gonna be getting us soaked. So we're just gonna do that for today and hopefully everything will dry out with the sun coming out today. All right, that's where we're headed. Uh, the Union Falls, 4.7 miles, going out that way. We're about a mile up the trail, and there's this beautiful meadow. Just gorgeous. Kind of something I wish I could build a cabin right in front of and wake up and drink coffee looking at this. Just pulled up at 9U2, also known as Mountain Ash Creek. And you can hear the river down there running, or the creek. Anyways, we got about a tenth of a mile and we're going to have to cross it. So here's Mountain Ash Creek. We've got to cross it. It looks to be moderately deep. I would say probably mid-thigh. I'm going to try and cross right there first and uh, blaze a path for Chad. And then uh, we'll see what happens. See you on the other side. Easy peasy, brother. We did it. Hell yeah. This bump. Let's go. Just on the other side of the river, we have 9U3 and a toilet.
So the Mountain Ash Creek Trail, where we forded the river, was 1.5 miles back behind us. We are headed for the Falls River Ford, which it says is 4.9 miles, but yeah, we'll see about that. Over this way is Union Falls Trail and Union Falls Campsite. It's two miles, but man, that, that river's ripping, and you know, I don't want to uh, leave Chad here on the trail or anything, and I don't want to get down there and then get hurt or anything by myself, so kind of just not feeling it today, and that's okay. So instead, we're going to go ahead and head up here. We're going to start climbing, and uh, here in about an hour, hopefully we'll level out, and there'll be some nice views. Uh, yeah, we're going to head on to camp, but this gives me a reason to come back. Some caves up there. All right, so we made it about three quarters of a mile up the trail, maybe, and we decided to take a break. This is going to be kind of a long hike today because it's basically three miles of just slow, steady climbing. And then we get to drop down into camp almost immediately. So, but uh, yeah, we're we're sweating. To, at least it's not raining. At least it's not hailing, snowing, anything like that. What do you think so far, buddy? Better day. Better day. We just ran into three guys out of uh, Redmond or Richmond or something over, I guess, in Idaho. Anyways, they uh, they were hiking in. Pretty nice guys. We're going to take a break here for a bit and uh, chow down on a candy bar or something. Then we'll get back on the trail. So, We have one mile of this, which is probably like a six or eight or even a 10% grade. So the work begins. So that's the valley we came out of. We're uh, a bit winded. Uh, it's about 700 feet of elevation gain and it is straight up. But uh, we're taking lots of breaks. We're gonna hop back on the trail here in just a minute and finish this off. Maybe about 10 more minutes. 100 feet at a time, isn't it? Yeah. Woo! Oh man, every time we go, I feel like this, like I said, that flush, I instantly start sweating. And it's like 45 degrees or something right now. It's chilly. Whew, I can smell myself. Yep. <laughs> All right, we've got 100 feet more trail and we've summited. Oh, here we go. Alright, so we just pulled up at the Mountain Ash Creek Trail. To the left here is the Cascade Creek, uh, which we're not going to go to. We're going to go to a different part. Union Falls, where we came from, what did it say? 5.9 at the other end, and here it says 6.4. See, I'm telling you, man. This is probably more right. Yeah, probably. Anyways, and then it says the Pitchstone Plateau uh, goes off to the right here, and we are not doing that. What we're doing is 9F2 right here. So we're gonna head off this way and uh, go get camp set up. Well, we made it to camp. It was by far probably uh, the most physical day of the trip. We climbed and climbed and climbed. It felt like it never ended. But we did about 100 feet at a time. Stop, catch your breath, 100 more feet. And before we knew it, we were over the top. But uh, we're at this beautiful camp here at Falls Creek. Chad's making some water. And uh, I'm gonna go find us some tent sites. So 
So it's uh, about 6.30. We're at campsite 9C5 here on the uh, Falls River, as you can see behind us. Got some more clothes drying. Got a fire going. We got food cooking. It was a good day. It was a hard day. We worked pretty hard. I didn't see any wildlife. Uh, didn't really see much of anything. Um, I skipped over uh, Union Falls. It just, the last three days have been so cold, wet, and miserable that I just didn't have it in me. So, but we're here now. We've got a good fire going, and uh, we're going to call it a night. Chad, do you have anything you want to add? Good day. It was a good day. No rain. No rain, exactly. Yeah. All right, you guys. We'll catch up with you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. It's day number seven of the trip. Uh, as you can see, the sun is out, which it's out, out. Like there's nothing in the sky. There's no clouds at all. So we're very excited about that. Anyhow, we, uh, it got down to about freezing last night and, uh, whoa, almost fell. Everything's a little frozen. So we got a little fire going. Get ready to drink some coffee and eat some breakfast and start drying some gear out using the sun, like our sleeping bags. They need to seriously just bake in the sun. What a good night, man. It was a great fire last night and just, I slept good. It was awesome. You have anything to add? No? It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. We're heading over to Beulah Lake today. I'm not sure when we're gonna get out of here. It may be, it may be a bit, but uh, we'll get there and we'll check in with you uh, when we leave. What food are you thinking about right now? H-E-B flour tortillas. Yes. Scrambled eggs. Yes. Cheddar cheese. Hatch yes. chilies. Sausage, sausage, sausage. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Yes. Salsa. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing what the sun does. Instantly drying our stuff. We sure need it. So this is our morning. Making power, drying all our gear, all our clothes. The power of the sun. So happy to have it. All right, so we just walked out of camp. Uh, 9F2, as you can see there. And right back over here is the sign uh, to tell us that the Ash Creek is right up in front of us, which where I'm from, this is not a creek. This is a damn river. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to go first and we'll see how it goes and I'll see you on the other side. Good job, bro. All right.
right, we made it to the South Boundary Trail. The uh, Ashton Flag Ranch Road is 1.3 miles away. To our left, that's where we're gonna go. The Cascade Creek and Beckler Ranger Station is back to the right. Um, and then Union Falls is six and a half miles away. Rocky Ford, 10.7. And the Beckler Ranger Station is 14.5. But we just stopped, dried out, made water, and uh, we are ready to go. It's a bluebird day. Our first real dry oh, day. Oh man, our first dry day. We're so happy, so. All right, guys, so we're headed to Beulah Lake. It's five, about 5.5 miles from here. We've got to climb about 500 feet over that, which should be nice and steady and easy. Man, my beard is just going crazy. <laughs> but who cares today, man? The sun's out. We're dry. We spent three hours this morning, probably more than that, three and a half yeah. probably, doing nothing but just chasing the sun with our gear, getting it dry. And it is noticeable, so... Spirits are high. What do you think about food-wise, buddy? Pizza from the parlor in Austin with more <laughs> meat than they can put on it. A lot of bacon. <laughs> I could go for a bacon cheeseburger, like a triple, oh. triple uh, cheese, triple bacon. Oh. Avocado. Yes. Two fried eggs on it. Yes. Oh man, that sounds so French good. Rice. We're <laughs> oh. we're starving. We have plenty to eat, but we're starving. <laughs> we just uh, exited the park right here. We're now in the Grand Teton Wilderness. But here's the, uh, the map. So we are here, as it says, you are here, and we're going to go down to here along this black trail and then cut up to eight, a one or two, I can't remember which one, but uh, essentially what we did, just so everyone understands, we started up here um, at nine D3, which is Greg Fork. That was on day two. And oh, here we go. Day two up here. And we worked our way all the way down here. And we made it to 9B4. I'm sorry, 9B2. And we were supposed to go over to 9A2, but the river, that river was raging. And uh, we had already fallen in a couple times. It just was not worth the risk. So we cut back down this way, cut over here, and we camped at 9U1. And we made it all the way over uh, to here and climbed up. And we camped at 9F2 right here. So not 8A2 or 8A1. I can't remember which one. That's where we're headed. So we've got uh, about four and a half miles. But yeah. What a great trip. And right up here we got another sign. Entering Yellowstone National Park. Vehicles, bicycles, pets. Not permitted in Yellowstone Park backcountry. Cool. Well, what do you think? Good. Awesome. Great day. Let's go. So we popped out of the forest and we're on the backside of, I think, Grassy Lake is what it's called. Here's the spillway. First bit of like human civilization engineering we've seen in a week. Anyways, I'm going to continue out this way and find the uh, South Boundary Trail again. Whew, catch my breath. Going on the South Boundary uh, Trail westbound and Mountain Ash Creek Trail, which is right down there by Chad where those rocks are. And uh, we've got about a mile till we turn left. Let's go. Correction, that was not the trail. <laughs> we climbed up that thing and realized the trail ended, so we came back and now we're getting on the right trail, so. That happens out here. Well, 
boy, finally. Whew. Finally made it up here to Grassy Lake. And uh, it was quite a climb to get up here. It's a man-made dam. Green chili breakfast burrito. That's what I want. Believe in yourself and don't give up. That's what you tell your kids, right? Yep. Never give up. Yep. There's always a hill, but it's worth climbing. We're almost there, bro. Yep. Almost there. All right. Well, the Mountain Ash Creek Trail that we came from is three miles away. So there's the Pitchstone Plateau Trail and the Snake River Ranger Station is 6.5 to, to our right. Up that way. We are not going that way until tomorrow. We're going to go to Beulah Lake, which is two miles away. Let's get after it. Chocolate milkshake and french fries. Yeah. Some jalapeno poppers. Yeah. Mozzarella sticks. Monster oh, yeah. Fried mozzarella sticks. Oh, my God. Yes. The hunger talk is intense. <laughs> Well, the drop down into Beulah Lake is steep, and we got to climb back up this in the morning. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be worth it. This is a beautiful place up here. Excuse me. And uh, we're going to get up super early, I think. Pack up and try to be back to the truck by 1.00 which would put us back. Oh, there's there's the lake right out there. Sweet. Put us back in Lander, Wyoming by five or six, depending on how fast I drive off the mountain. What are you thinking about food-wise? Pizza, tacos. Oh, tacos. Ooh, tacos, bro. Yeah. Yes. Welcome to camp, man. dragonflies and everything over here. It's a lot warmer in this lower elevation. Well guys, we've got camp set up, charging stuff, you know, finishing drying a few things out and just uh, enjoying the fact that we're here and uh, we're lucky to be here. It's a beautiful place. We earned it. And I think this this beautiful, warm day makes up for all the uh, <laughs> freezing cold days we had because it was pretty miserable there for a while. So I'm happy to be here. We're going to let the night roll in. It's our last night in the park. It's bittersweet, always leaving, but uh, happy. Well guys, this is the last night of the trip. It's uh, It's been a great trip. It's been a wonderful trip. It's been miserable, it's had its times, but man, it's been a great trip. And tomorrow we're gonna get out and go eat some good food. Uh, this has been a great 
escape for me, a chance to just kind of reset. I do this, try and do this every year. I need to do this a lot more often. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I turned 40 here in a couple weeks and uh, it's a big milestone. So anyhow, you got anything? I just turned 51, <laughs> left my family and kids at home and I'm ready to see them. And I'm just really proud that I did this and that I did it with you. Awesome. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. What food are you thinking about right now? A baked potato with extra butter, extra sour cream, more bacon than it can hold. Maybe even some chorizo on it. Oh, chorizo. <laughs> <laughs> Queso. It's coming. Well, good morning. It is day number eight of the trip. We uh, slept pretty good last night. We had a bear come through camp um, at some point in the morning. He came along the uh, the shore and fell in probably about three times that we could hear. And then he went up to the south side of Beulah Lake and he was playing around in the water and shaking off and just doing bear stuff for a while. But it is a beautiful, crisp morning. It's about 30 degrees. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get packed up. We're going to push out to the truck. So this is our last hiking day in the park. Today is pizza and college football day. <laughs> so we've got 8.6 miles, kind of a steep climb to get out of camp. We're going to give it maybe another 20, 25 minutes. Let the sun do its thing, warm us up a bit. And uh, we're going to get on the trail. It's cold, though. But this has been a fantastic trip. It's uh, definitely been one I've learned some lessons on when it comes to uh, being wet and cold. But we survived. We're good. And I'll be back. Do what? What did you think of the bear coming in last night? I was so tired. Yeah. He was just playing. Yeah. So. Yeah, three times I he thought fell it was in really water. cool, though. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Did you like this campsite? I did. This is a beautiful spot, man. It was dry and beautiful and peaceful and... Awesome. Yeah. Perfect. You ready for this this work to get out today? I am. Pizza. 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 That's it, man. With a lot of meat. <laughs> Goodbye, Beulah Lake. Next time I come back, I'm think bringing me a fishing pole. Because this place has had fish jumping nonstop. I'll see you when I see you. Boy, that climb out of Beulah. Whew. You get about 100 feet pretty quick. That'll wake you up in the morning. Anyways, we got about two or 1.8 or 1.9, somewhere around there, miles to the South Boundary Trail. And then once we hit the South Boundary Trail, we'll turn left, which is due east. And we have 6.6 .6 miles back to the truck. Let's get after it. Yeah. Here's Grassy Lake. We have already dropped probably about three or 400 feet. And uh, we're gonna stop here for a second at the end of this. 
and refuel. Well, guys, I uh, we are at the almost to the three quarter point for today. It's eleven o two in the morning, and uh, I'm gonna be back at the truck by twelve thirty for sure. So, pizza, pizza, yes. I'm ready for a Diet Coke. I'm ready for a Coke. So anyways, food talk's been pretty intense. We're going to go ahead and uh, strap these packs back on here in just a few minutes. And keep heading down the trail and get this knocked out. And our trip will be done. So here's a land survey right here. Yellowstone National Park is on that side. And on this side, you're in, uh, oh gosh, Teton. So pretty cool. U.S. General Land Office Survey marker. All right, guys. We're on the last leg here. We got to drop down to this creek down here, Polecat Creek. And we're going to climb out. You can actually see Mount Sheridan all the way over there with a little bit of snow on it. Anyways, the south entrance um, is basically... At the val at the, the end of this over there, we got to go up just a bit of it and then down, and we're there. So we've got about three and something miles. Oh, and there you can see a little bit of uh, the Tetons covered in snow. Whole Cat Creek. It's not too big. Nice little creek. I've less than two miles to the truck and it's uh, almost noon. We're gonna hit our one o'clock deadline that we set for ourselves. And it's pizza time. That's cool, there's like an island of trees in this meadow. Pretty cool. Beautiful meadow right here before Tanger, Tanger Lake. The horse corral's at the end of uh, the trail here, right before we get to the car. We're gonna make it before one. Heck yeah. We did it, we're back at the truck. That was, uh, that was a good hike, I enjoyed that. How about you? It's long. It's long? Good though. It's the hardest thing you ever done? this trip hat been yeah yeah well guys thank you again my name's aaron thank you for coming along with us on this journey uh please keep your comments civil and if you have any questions or anything just let me know i'll see you later